I have a suggestion uh, that I'd like to put out there. Um, I have three, I've had three children and uh, my youngest is a high school senior this year. She's graduating. And she's told me some horrendous stories about some of her teachers. Uh, would be hard to, you know, she's told me some great stories about some of them, but, you know, some horrendous stories about some of them. It would be hard to ever confirm or verify uh, other than that I, I believe what she says. And, and she's told me about some of the teachers who <clears throat> literally don't teach. Um, they, uh, they come in and they uh, show movies all during their class periods or they, uh, uh, they let the students basically run wild, run the class. Uh, there's teachers who miss quite a few days of the school year. Uh, they have student teachers taking care or aides taking care of their classes. And I can see that and, I, and I'm sure that there's teachers who are not pulling their own weight. They're not doing a good job and they're not teaching our kids the way they should. Um, unfortunately, they, unfortunately, they give a bad name to those teachers who are hardworking, dedicated, um, really have the students' best interests at heart and really go all out to, to make the students' uh, experience in school uh, the best that it can be. And I hope, I really hope that the majority of teachers out there are good and that they fit into the category of, you know, dedicated teachers. Um, but I think that there could be an improvement and it would be very simple. Now they talk about whether or not teachers are going to get hired or fired based on tenure or whether they're going to get hired or fired based on performance. This is such an arbitrary uh, situation to be able to judge them. I know that they have these standardized tests and that would be a whole other argument in another vein that whether or not these standardized tests are any good because then some of them spend so much time trying to teach the kids only about the standardized test material so that they can look good, that really the core of their class and what they could really be accomplishing is, is uh, diminished because of the amount of time and effort they spend trying to pump up the scores on the star testing or that sort of thing. Anyway, it would seems to me that it would be very, very inexpensive and doable for every single classroom to have a closed circuit camera set up in the back of the class. Now, this is not, this would not be spying on teachers because everyone would know that they're being observed. I'm a general contractor. I observe my workers. I'm not spying on my workers when I watch them to see how they're working, to see whether they're working hard, and to see whether they're doing their job correctly and if they are gold bricking, if they're messing up on the job, if they're not putting their best foot forward, if they're not putting their best effort forward, then those fellows won't be working for me very long. In office environments and many, many places, uh, in fast foods establishment, in restaurants, people are under scrutiny because they're out where people can watch them perform. The checkers at the, uh, at the check stands, everybody that you mentioned, can be seen performing their work. Yet teachers go into a classroom and the only people that can report on them are students. And of course there's allegations and things flying. Students, some students like them, some don't. Some of the teachers like some of the students, some of them don't like some of the students. Uh, and so what you have is you have uh, a lot of finger pointing, he, sh he said, she said. So. If there was now these cameras don't have to be taping 24/7 and they don't have to be taping all the time they don't have to even be taping what they should be is closed circuit and the teachers should know that at any point during the day that they may be watched they may be under scrutiny people can sit and observe how they run their classroom what they're doing in their classroom and what they're teaching now this would eliminate teachers putting out their own political viewpoints, their biased viewpoints on politics, religion, and any number of other things that are out there that don't need to be fed into the classroom. Now, I'm not going on a witch hunt, and I don't want teachers to be 
uh, worried about every single thing they say. There's got to be some, there's got to be some leeway, and there's got to be the ability to talk without worrying about, you know, being like a politician. With everything they say, can be scrutinized and taken out of context. So, uh, if they knew that they were being watched, and if their classes were being run in an orderly fashion, and if they were cutting the mustard, and if they were doing their job right. They would have nothing to worry about. It would also tend to, I think, improve the quality of education throughout the United States if every teacher knew that they could possibly be watched at any given moment. This is only common sense. It would be very inexpensive to put into schools right now, and every teacher would know that they'd better do their best job because they may be watched at any time.